now we will move into the next topic uh, that is a uh, distribution function. that is distribution function. This is nothing to do with uh, probability. So, first let me define the distribution function, then uh, we will connect the distribution function with the probability. Therefore, the same distribution function will be call it as a cumulative distribution function of a random variable x. So, when I define now the distribution function, there is no probability at all. Okay. Let me define a distribution function definition. A real valued function capital F, because later we are going to use this capital F as a CDF, therefore, I am going to use now itself a capital F a real valued function capital F satisfying four conditions. The first condition it is always lies between 0 to 1 for all x lies between minus infinity to infinity. This is the first condition. Second condition <coughs> it is a monotonically increasing function in x. That means, if uh, two values you take x 1, x 2, x 1 is less than x 2, then the f of x 1 is always less than or equal to f of x 2. It is same as a non decreasing function. Either you say it as a monotonically increasing function for two different values of x 1 less than x 2, then f of x 1 is less than or equal to f of x 2 or non decreasing function both are one and the same third condition limit x tends to minus infinity of f of x that is 0 as well as limit x tends to plus infinity of f of x is 1. It is not uh, substituting the f at minus infinity is 0, f at plus infinity is 1. It may holds in some examples, but uh, <coughs> the definition is a limit of x tends to minus infinity that has to be 0, limit of plus infinity that has to be 1. It is not a substitution, it is a limit. The fourth condition that is a the capital F is a right continuous function. I can use the word, I can write the right in the bracket. That means, the function can be continuous, if not it is a right continuous. The function is continuous function, if not it has to be a right continuous function. If these four conditions are satisfied, then you can conclude the f is a distribution function. Then, then the function, the real valued function capital F that is called a distribution function as i said uh, this is nothing to do with the probability any real valued function satisfying these four conditions 
is going to be call it as a distribution function. If even any one of the properties are not satisfied, then you cannot conclude. It has to be a real valid function, value lies between 0 to 1, it should be a monotonically increasing. <coughs> Limit value has to start from 0 at minus infinity and it had to end up 1 as a limit extends to plus infinity and either it should be a continuous or a right continuous. You can draw some diagram for the function capital F and you can get the field. After that uh, we can introduce uh, the probability, then we land up uh, cumulative distribution function of the random variable x. So, let me start uh, what are all the graph uh, of uh, capital F, so that uh, that is going to be the distribution function. You can also try, you can also try to draw the graph x axis x, y axis is capital F, so that uh, satisfying these four conditions therefore, that is a distribution function. You try, I will also going to give some 2, 3 diagrams, so that you can conclude which one is going to be distribution function, which is not a distribution function and so on. Examples. First example. When I ask the students to draw the diagram, they can make it a <coughs> different type, uh, whether it is going to satisfy that four condition or not, that is important. Since its values from 0 to 1, the easiest diagram, the values is 0 till this point and this point it increases becomes 1. Therefore, uh, this satisfies all the four conditions, therefore, uh, it is a distribution function. I can put the tick mark here. I draw another diagram. At some point, uh, it has an increment. So, this point you treat it as minus 3. At some other point, it is not scaled. Okay. At some point, it uh, increased. At some other point, uh, again it increased. And this value, suppose that is going to be 1. Suppose this value is going to be 1. That means, uh, till minus 3 it is 0, minus 3 to 4 it has some value constant. There is an increment at the point 4 and uh, between interval 4 to 10 it has the same value. At the point 10 it becomes 1 and it is 1 till the end. Therefore, this also satisfies, I uh, will go for another diagram. as a third example. It is 0 and it is increasing and it is a touches, it becomes 1 at infinity. That means, asymptotically it goes and it becomes a 1 at infinity. So, see the difference of the three uh, different uh, distribution function. The first one has a only one jump at the point uh, 1, the second one uh, has a 1, 2, 3, 3 jumps and the fourth, third example 
which does not have any discontinuity or no jumps. It start from 0 and it goes to 1 and it is a continuous function whereas, the first and second example are the right continuous function. That means, the way I define the value at the point wherever there is a jump and what the value at the right limit are same which is different from the left limit in the first two examples whereas, in the third example it is a continuous function or I can go for one more diagram. It takes a value 0 and it is increased to some value at some point uh, there is a jump at some point there is a jump then it becomes 1. That means, uh, it is a continuous between the interval minus infinity to suppose this point is a 20. This function is a continuous between the interval minus infinity to 20. 20 there is a jump and it becomes 1 from 20 to infinity. Therefore, it has a continuous in some interval jump at one point or there is a possibility it may have a jumps at many points. It may have a combination of continuous in some interval as well as jumps. Whereas, if you see the first example and second example, the distribution function increases the values only by jumps. I am repeating the word. The first example and the second example, the distribution function start from 0, it incremented at some value and it becomes the same value till the next jump, then the next jump it increases till the next jump, then it again increase, then it goes to the same value. Therefore, the value increases only by jumps in the first example and the second example, whereas in the third example, it increases continuously from one point till the end. Whereas, in the fourth example, it increases in some interval as well as uh, it is retained the same value with some jumps. Therefore, all four uh, <coughs> types are going to be the distribution function. I have not given what is a function which is not the distribution function. So, you can think of a wrong example of a increase decreasing or not values or lies between 0 to 1, it more than 1 or less than 0 or it is a discontinuities So, violating these four conditions, you can always create n number of examples which are going to be a non-distribution function, but what we want is a, a real valued function satisfying the four conditions. Therefore, this is going to be a distribution function. So, this four example makes a, the first example has a only one jump, the second example has a three jumps like that you can have a finite number of jumps. The third example does not have a jump at all, it is a increasing in the whole interval and the fourth example is a combination of uh, increasing as well as having a jumps. We can go for one more example which has the countably infinite jumps that makes a <coughs> completeness of the distribution function. So, the fifth example is a <coughs> having a countably infinite jumps, countably infinite jumps. So, it start from 0,
and it has a jump again it has a jump again it has a jump again it has a jump like this it is keep going it reaches uh, 1 at some point the first example has only one jump second example has a three jumps fifth example has a countably infinite number of jumps third example does not have a jump fifth example has a one jump as well as uh, <coughs> increasing between the sum interval this shows uh, the distribution function can be of many form so this will lead uh, as to create uh, types of random variable in the later stage but before that uh, let me explain what is a cumulative distribution function through the distribution function that is going to be the next definition is a cumulative next definition is cumulative distribution function of a random variable x. So, this is a CDF is denoted by capital F suffix x that is denoted by capital F suffix x that is a cumulative distribution function and how it is defined for all x that is same as p of x is less than or equal to small x where small x is in the real line. the capital F which we define that is a distribution function x star we are using a suffix capital X that is to show that uh, the same distribution function capital F is call it as a cumulative distribution function of a random variable x. So, whether I write a capital F suffix x or capital F of x both are one and the same. So, I can use the word R here to distinguish uh, or to tell that uh, both are uh, distribution function and the way you define the distribution function through the P that P comes from the probability space uh, omega F P the same capital P is used. In the probability space you have a capital P that is a probability measure set function. So, if you find out p of x is less than or equal to x for all x belonging to r this way if you define the distribution function and that distribution function is going to be called it as a cumulative distribution function of a random variable x. Now, the way we write uh, capital P x is less than or equal to x the way you define this way the distribution function is going to be called it as a cumulative distribution function of a random variable x in short uh, they use uh, c d f c d f means a cumulative distribution function i can uh, expand uh, what is the meaning of uh, capital p less than or equal to x that means that is same as capital P of uh, the capital X less than or equal to X is nothing but for possible outcomes uh, W belonging to omega such that under the operation X the W gives the values x of w gives the values less than or equal to x 
that is the meaning of a capital P x less than or equal to x means uh, you are collecting few possible outcomes which satisfies the condition x of w less than or equal to x. This is nothing but a set, this is nothing but event. The way I explained in the earlier, this can be denoted by the letter called a suffix x. That means it is a p of event a suffix x a suffix x as a event, this event is belonging to the f by using a Kolmogorov axiomatic definition, the p of a suffix x gives the values greater than or equal to 0 for all events and p of omega is equal to 1 and p of union of mutually disjoint events that is same as sum of p of a is. The, using the same Kolmogorov axiomatic condition, the capital F is defined for all x belonging to real line. That means, uh, when x between minus infinity to plus infinity, you will get uh, the values of uh, p of x less than or equal to x. That will satisfy the four condition which we said it earlier. That is. Uh, It's a real valued function lies between 0 to 1, monotonically increasing, limit is a minus infinity 0, plus infinity is 1 and f is a right continuous function. So, all these four conditions will be satisfied. Therefore, this distribution function, the capital F, that is going to be called it as a cumulative distribution function of the random variable x that is denoted by capital F or capital F suffix x. When we have more than one random variable, the suffix is important. Now, we have only one random variable. Therefore, uh, whether you write f of x or f suffix x, both are one and the same. Now, let us uh, prove how this uh, function capital F x is going to be the distribution function. Once you prove that it is a distribution function through the p x is less than or equal to x, then you can conclude the same distribution function is going to be called it as a cumulative distribution function of the random variable x. Even though there are uh, four points to be proved, uh, the first one is lies between 0 to 1 and the second one is uh, monotonically uh, increasing or uh, non decreasing function and the limit is a minus infinity 0 and plus infinity is 1 and right continuous. So, we will prove only few things the remaining proof can be done it in the similar way. The first one uh, to prove that uh, it is a <coughs> non decreasing or monotonically increasing you take uh, two points with x 1 is less than x 2 and you can always conclude minus infinity to x 1 which is uh, contained in minus infinity to x 2. This is a one set and uh, it is another set and the one set is contained in the other set. Suppose you go for finding what is a f of x 1 that is nothing but the p of uh, x is less than or equal to x 1. That is same as uh, p of uh, set of all uh, w's belonging to omega such that uh, x of w is lies between uh, minus infinity to x 1. Since one set is contained in the other set or equivalent of uh, one event is contained in the other event, then the probability is going to be less than or equal to. Therefore, that is less than or equal to the P of uh, collection of W such that uh, minus infinity to x of W is less than or equal to x 2. This is nothing but uh, p 
of uh, x is less than or equal to x2 and that is same as uh, f of x2. Therefore, uh, we can conclude uh, f is the non decreasing in x or uh, monotonically increasing. The second one we can prove limit x tends to minus infinity of f of x is 0. For that uh, we take uh, sequence x n be a sequence of uh, real numbers such that uh, it is uh, decreasing to minus infinity. Then you can conclude x less than or equal to small x n that is satisfies uh, this condition for each n not only that the limit n tends to infinity the event x n less than or equal to x n that is nothing but intersection of uh, x less than or equal to x n where n goes from 1 to infinity. Since x n are the sequence of uh, numbers decreasing to minus infinity satisfying this condition therefore, uh, limit n tends to infinity x is less than or equal to x n is same as intersection of x is less than or equal to x n where n running from 1 to infinity. That is nothing but uh, the empty set that is nothing but empty set. <coughs> Therefore, limit x tends to minus infinity of f of x is same as limit n tends to infinity of p of x is less than or equal to x n. Just now we concluded limit n tends to infinity x is less than or equal to x n is empty set. Therefore, this is nothing but uh, p of uh, I can interchange the role of uh, limit and probability because uh, p is a continuous function. limit n tends to infinity of uh, x is less than or equal to x n and that is empty set. So, the p of empty set is going to be 0. So, we have proved uh, limit uh, x tends to minus infinity f of x uh, that is going to be 0. Similarly, one can prove limit x tends to plus infinity of f of x that is going to be 1. And fourth one, one can prove the f of x is the right continuous in x. So, since all the four conditions are satisfied for the distribution function, therefore, this distribution function capital F is called a is called the CDF of the random variable x. So, the distribution function satisfying a p of x is less than or equal to x form that distribution function will be the cumulative distribution function for the random variable x.